How is everybody doing today? So I thought, instead of waiting for news on Xenoverse, I could be a little more proactive with making videos. So today I'm going to list off to you guys the 5 characters I want to see in Dragon Ball Xenoverse. This list will consist of strictly characters and not focus on transformations. Hachiak has been a part of the Dragon Ball universe since the early 90s, and since then has only featured in one video game not restricted to Japan, and that was Raging Blast 2. That alone is reason enough for me to include him on this list, with a huge character roster in the works for Xenoverse, I don't see why Hachiak shouldn't appear. Tabul, Vegeta's younger brother. While he may not be f a fully fleshed out character like all the other characters in the series, I think he deserves a little more time to shine. The OVA Yosun Goku and his friends return, and Raging Blast 2 were Tabul's debut appearances. With Goku's family so prominent on the character selection screen of nearly every Dragon Ball game, it'd be great to see Vegeta's family fill in a few more slots, and I think Tabul would be a great way to do this. Abo and Kado. While technically they are two different characters, I put these two together so that I didn't fill up too many places on this list. As well as Tabul, these two debuted in Yo Son Goku and His Friends Return, and to my knowledge haven't appeared in anything since. While being a part of Frieza's army, and ranking in the same tier as the Ginyu Force, these two would be unique additions to the roster, not just because they haven't made a video game appearance, but because the inclusion of them would mean we could also play as their few self Akka, which would be amazing. Shin and Kabito. Again, two characters, same deal as Abo and Kado. While Supreme Kai, or Shin, hasn't made a console appearance since Tenkaichi 3, Kibito is yet to make his playable debut. To me, these characters were essential to the story during the early stages of the Majin Buu saga, specifically during the tournament. Shin was extremely fun to use in Tenkaichi 3 and would be awesome to see him as a playable character once again. And honestly, I've kind of wanted Kibito to be included for a long time now. Not to mention their fusion, Kabito Kai or Kabito Shin, would hopefully be included as well, and being a Patara fusion, uh, you know it's going to be strong. The King of Saiyans, King Vegeta. The story of Dragon Ball Z had the potential to go deeper than it ever did, and King Vegeta's story is something that would have been really interesting to see. With his last appearance in Tenkaichi 3, and Xenoverse seeming to be one of the best Dragon Ball games in a long time, it only seems fitting to include him. Bardock has had a lot of attention recently with his OVA and Super Saiyan transformation. I think it's time for King Vegeta to be a little more prominent now, and as I said earlier, Vegeta's family needs to be represented more, and who better to do so than the king himself? So they were my 5 characters I want to see in Dragon Ball Xenoverse. 7 if you want to be technical, and 9 if you want to be really technical. Who do you want to see in Dragon Ball Xenoverse? Someone who has never been in a Dragon Ball game? Or maybe someone who hasn't been seen in a long time? Let me know in the comments. Also, if you want to see another Dragon Ball related top 5, let me know in the comments also. Until my next Dragon Ball Xenoverse video, have a fantastic day.